Many of you probably have heard about the poor quality of the Russian rose. And I'm not going to tell you about this uh, in this video. Uh, instead, I'm going to tell you about some situations that can happen with you on the road and how you can expect people in Russia to react. Nowadays, you can hear from everywhere, also in the social media, how people become really angry at the world and very self uh, very selfish and they don't want to help anybody but somehow on the roads uh, in Russia the situation is different many times it's different uh, somehow it's here just very common to help other people that have some problems on the road uh, for example it's very normal to have the tow rope in your trunk um, I bet you can find it close to in every car in Russia and that's because sometimes you may need help or somebody else can need help when your or his or her car is broken and then uh, you can help and tow the car to the service or something and that's really normal to stop when you see that somebody has a problem with the car and suggest uh, your help and then you take your rope out of the trunk and tow somebody to the service and you will not take money for this or something, you will just accept thank you. I don't want to say that it's uh, that everybody would stop and there will be a queue of people, you know, wanting to help you. But if you're standing there and sometimes somebody will stop and suggest help, or you can maybe uh, show somehow with your hand that uh, you want somebody to help you and then probably somebody still will uh, be willing to help you and tow you to the service or to the repair station uh, where um, you can get your car repaired. I tell about that because that happened to me personally sometimes and uh, I want to tell you about the situation. For example, what can happen with you is that your battery dies and then you need another car and the person that will help you to charge your battery with this special device, I think terminals they are called, um, but for that you need another car and this device. Um, this terminals um, also quite a common thing to have in your car, maybe not as common as the tow ropes, but still uh, you will find them. And as well with this, people can help you. Uh, I had it once and my battery just um, died uh, next to my university and there were people, uh, the other students who wanted to help me. and. Uh, it was very nice of them and um, it's really nice when people just help you just because they want to help, right? And I also should say that many times it's especially um, girls, women that will receive a lot of help and uh, they are still probably seen as uh, not very experienced drivers, not very good understanding cars, though it's not always true. but. Still, many times it is true and it's really nice that you will get your help uh, quite fast even if you cannot just call your friends or relatives. Though I would say this is also a very common one. If you have friends, relatives nearby that can help you, you will not just maybe stand and wait for the help of the strangers but uh, call your family or friends. But when sometimes it's um, not possible, then you can rely on strangers. And one more common thing that can happen to you is a flat tire for sure. I had it two, three, four, I don't know. The roads, as I said, are not good here. So many times the road is really the cause of your flat tire. I had it three, four times in my life. Um, and um, then the sometimes you can get the flat tire and don't realize it from the very beginning, uh, but somebody can see it from the outside of your car. So the first time I got it, I was really an experienced driver and I went to another city um, and that was my first big trip uh, out of my in city where I live and I was extremely nervous driving and then somebody was beeping me and I was like, what, 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 what I'm doing wrong? And then the person, person was just beeping and beeping and showing me, uh, put the window down and I was, uh, I needed to drive and to, to put the window down, nervous about that. And then I put the window down and he was like, something is with your tire, stop and check it. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. And then I stopped uh, and uh, looked at my tire and it was obvious that it was not really flat totally, but uh, it was going in that direction for sure and I was in such a panic and shock what to do because I had an appointment and I needed to be there um, on time. 
So first thing I did is I called my dad and I asked uh, what can I do and he said yeah um, you can get the pump out of your trunk and pump your tire and then it will be probably um, enough to get to the closest car service it's just in a uh, five to ten minutes ride and everything will be all right. And I was like pumping my tire myself okay we can do that um and I, I never did it before but with my dad instructions it seemed not that difficult and i took the pump out of my trunk and i started to do that and then there was a man uh, just passing by and he was like uh, do you need any help and i was like yeah i'm partly or almost all um, the, the most important part how to attach it it's already done but it will be nice if you can stay there and control a bit if i'm doing everything right and he stayed there and we talked a bit and he's like, yeah, yeah, everything is right, no worries, you will get to the closest car service and he told me where I can um, exactly find this car service and that very, was very um, nice of him and just some month ago I again had it and again the stranger uh, pointed at it because I could not feel it still in the car maybe because I don't have that much experience I don't know maybe it's impossible to feel when it's not completely flat but just a little bit and he saw it out of his car and he was driving slow next to me um, vaping uh, to me and showing me again um, low your window and um, then uh, just yeah something with your tire and I again stopped and checked it and it was needed just a bit to pump it and then everything was all right even no hole or anything um, but again that was really nice of him to just invest a, a bit of his time and effort to tell that to me um, and uh, my when my mm, husband was here we also drove somewhere and uh, then we stopped at the small traffic jam uh, in front of the traffic light and uh, we were talking and there was some music on and then suddenly somebody knocked at our window and we were like <gasps> what what it was at night and we were a bit um, surprised uh, and it was very unexpected and then we were, uh, the man was like something is with your tire look at it like, oh my god again something with the tire and we looked at it and uh, we pumped it up and it wasn't a big problem but again thank you for telling us and by the way, when I was uh, still learning to get my driving license in the driving school, uh, my teacher, uh, my instructor, driving instructor, he told me um, and showed me, really showed me how to change the bulbs in the headlights when needed because in the car that I was uh, learning to drive um, on, uh, there was uh, this need to change the bulb and he was like, oh, I will change it, but let's go and you will look how I do that in case you need to do that in future yourself. I was like, why should I need to do that myself? I probably would never do that. Um, but um, there was no other way. He was my instructor. I just get out of my car. And I remember it was uh, early morning. I needed to go to university around eight. So I got my driving lessons before eight um, in the morning. And it was a late autumn. Uh, dark in the morning, uh, raining a bit and a bit foggy, not the best weather for a driver, um, especially who is just learning. Um, and to get out of the car when it's so cold and to look how to change the bulb, uh, that's just I keep it in my memory as one of the insane experience and by the way I don't remember how to change it so I think I can do it if I google it maybe but uh, not directly out of my head. I would say all in all in Russia you're expected to know uh, quite a lot about cars if you're driving cars, um, how to do everything, not everything, not, not, not the big stuff I mean, but the small things uh, you're expected to know how to do it yourself. If you don't know it's also good that there are a lot of people who probably know or, and who can help and uh, are willing to help and um, again maybe it's not as positive as uh, uh, I'm having that in my head but I prefer to have this one because I had a lot of positive experience with um, helping uh, other people on the roads and I know that I myself probably would not be a great help so I, uh, in me stopping by to help somebody will be probably very uh, useless but 
Um, if I'm in the car with somebody uh, who can help, as my dad, my brother, my husband, I think we would stop and also help some people who are in um, a difficult situation. And uh, I, I'm not telling about the big troubles. For sure, if you have a big troubles, you would call a special service or something. Um, I'm sure they exist also here in Russia. But I haven't heard, to be honest, people having like um, paying annually uh, money for something like roadside assistance. Um, and in Germany, I think it's very common to have uh, just uh, the payment is between 80 and 150, depends on the company and the region, I guess. And uh, you pay this amount of uh, money in a year. And then every time something happens, even the small thing as a flat tire or um, your battery uh, just died, uh, you can call the roadside assistance and they will help you. And I think it's really a good system uh, that you can um, rely on uh, professionals and maybe don't wait for help from other people. Um, but somehow here is really traditionally uh, that people help each other on the road and I would just accept it as um, uh, something like a cultural, traditional a bit uh, stuff that became like this with years. And the most important part, try to drive safely and carefully because your life is the most important thing that you have. And um, yeah, I hope nothing bad will happen with you on the road, even the small things. And that's all for today. Bye.